Welcome back. First things first, tonight is going to be pretty rocking with Donovan McNabb back against his own team with a younger, faster version of himself at quarterback in Michael Vick. Brad once again benched Manning, which apparently worked regardless of which Manning you benched this weekend. And now Brad needs Vick to score one and a half fantasy points to win this week's challenge versus Mr. Nasdaq. At Mr. Nasdaq has no more players for tonight, so as long as Vic doesn't get negative points, Brad will win this week's matchup. Needless to say, we'll be watching Monday Night Football after family home meeting tonight for sure. Next, Ford. We sent out a message to grab Ford January 2012, 15, and 20 and a half calls. We're up on both of them, and, uh, and the out-of-the-money calls have quite a bit of leverage in them, already up 11% on the out-of-the-money options. We think ultimately... Jim Cramer is right on his analysis that Ford will increase in price as the GM IPO hits the market, especially if it's close to $30 a share. We like playing it with the calls as we sold out of our stock up 45% last week. HSFT is giving you a shot to buy it down a dollar today, and we did just that. Fire, on the other hand, is on fire with the stock up nearly $2 today. We like both the $30 and will not look to take either off the table until we see those price levels. We had to take our Bucyrus off the table today, with the stock getting a bid from Caterpillar. We'll be looking hard at our Joy Global, symbol Joy G, G, J O Y G, as well, with it rallying 8% today off the back of Bucyrus. We bought Bucyrus around $18 in December of 2008, so it's been quite a run up to $90 where we sold it today. Big win for us, so thank you to Cat for that trade. Finally, Looking at BAC, JPM, AAPL, Cree, CRM, and Netflix, the levels are all holding extremely well where, where we are short. We have already started buying back our JPM short 36, 32 put spread for two cents today. As the week goes on, we'll take more, off, more of these off the table unless it's just so far out of the money like our AKAM short 38, 36 put spreads that a worthless expiration seems extremely probable. Thanks for tuning in again today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the Eagles on Monday Night Football tonight on ESPN and check out the new blog article, They Just Don't Get the Fed. There's a link to it on our Facebook page. It's the top link right now on our Facebook site. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.